Hi everybody, welcome to this dedicated focus about the benchmark of the latest mid-range device from HTC Desire X. First of all, I would like to thank our friend at Global Work Mobile for this device we have in this focus. Now, some of you asked me to perform some benchmark uh, of this Desire X. So, here we go. Let's start with the first benchmark which is quadrant standard. So let's perform the benchmark. And let's see how this device uh, performs with, with its uh, dual core uh, 1 GHz CPU, the S4 Play family. I, rem I remind you that this device has a 768 MB of RAM and it has an, uh, an Adreno. 203 GPU so what I'm expecting from this benchmark as I told you I don't really like ben benchmark because I just think they are numbers and nothing else uh, in my opinion what really matters is uh, uh, real life usage and, and not just numbers that you have in benchmark but anyway let's see how well or bad it does perform so now we have uh, about 28 frames per second there so let's see Okay, the result of this device is uh, 2456, not that bad, it's quite on par uh, with uh, LG Optimus 2X and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, so after all it's, it's not that bad. Now, after quadrant standard, we will perform on total benchmark. You can see here the score, I have already performed this benchmark to, to test it. So, let's do it again. Here we go. So 5136, which is a little bit less of the previous run. So after quadrant standard and untutu benchmark, here we go with speed test. You can see here I've already performed this test. Let, let's do it again. So we have 67 millisecond for the ping test. Wow! The device is downloading at 5 megabit, a little bit more than 5 megabit per second, and it's uploading at 3.7 megabit per second. I'll, just to remind you, this device is. Um, 7.5 megabit per second HSPDA and it's uh, uh, 5.6 megabyte per second HSAUPA. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, focus uh, dedicated to the benchmark on these desired acts. Thanks for watching, bye guys.